Hey everybody and welcome back to the Jedi Knight's Watch. My name is Graham and today we're going to be doing a flashback review on the Hot Toys Hulk from the movie Avengers. Now this has been a figure that has been on my wish list since I started collecting but he wasn't readily available back in the beginning of 2020. So I had to settle on the Professor Hulk which was just never the, the Hulk that I wanted. It, I wanted this one right here and this thing is about a decade old and I want to see how it stands up today and I finally was able to get my hands on it for a really good price at my local comic book store Freak Toys in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Uh, they had 15% off which just made this a steal of a buy and I couldn't be happier to add this to the collection. The box is huge. It's got this like foil Avengers logo on the front with a picture of Hulk himself. This looks more like the character but kind of the same facial expression as the figure but um, it's a really really nice looking box really heavy duty thicker cardboard than the the um, normal um, art box that we're used to with the one six scale figure but yeah this thing is massive I love just the green look you know there's there's two big reasons why I wanted this over the age of Ultron Hulk and we'll get to that later but here's a comparison with a normal style art box and I thought who better to pair him up with than Black Widow herself and you can just see how much it towers over it. So now we're going to get this thing out of the box so that we can get a look at it, see what we're dealing with, see how this thing looks uh, for today's standards. And it's pretty cool because it does come in like this, almost like an Iron Man thick styrofoam packaging. You know, really nice packaging. Um, doesn't come with a whole lot, but you know, with the Hulk, it's really about the figure. It's not about the accessories. So we're going to take a look at that. We're going to take the top clamshell off which is nice that they added just to kind of make sure that this figure stays secure and man even after this figure being 10 years old I am still very impressed with how this looks especially the head sculpt but let's just take a look at the accessories he comes with first and the only thing that he does come with is a pair of extra hands you can see it's got some holes in the fingers and that's because there's wire inside the fingers so you're actually going to be able to kind of pose and articulate the fingers to how you want them and that's a really cool idea so he comes with the fisted hands on the figure and then you get these open hands that you can kind of move and pose to how you want and I think they're done really well the paint application is really nice got like a gloss to it the fingernails are like a darker green just to give it a little bit more um, depth for the hands and then once we get the figure out here because we don't have a base or any other accessories we're just going to take a look at the figure himself he is towering he looks great. He is bulky. I love the shredded pants. I love the green color. And that's one reason that I wanted this over Age of Ultron was A, I love the ripped up pants look. And I love the the extra saturated green look. I thought the, uh, the newer one just didn't look as green and I really wanted my Hulk to stand out. The head sculpt is amazing as we get a slow-mo look here. Just look at the teeth and the, the yellow teeth and the angry look and the awesome detail in the head sculpt it looks really really nice this guy isn't like he's muscular but he's not like ripped he's just massive and I really like that about the figure itself um, going down to the midsection he does have some sculpted hair here um, you can see the arms and you can see that the joints are visible but at the same time unless this is gonna be a power pose figure there's really not much else they could do you're gonna have to sacrifice some of the um, aesthetics for being able to pose the figure but I think you can really hide some of these joints and they're not overly like gaudy or anything like that so um, you know the pants are gonna be more of like a grayish very light purple hint to them and again I love how they're just shredded at the bottom it's just a uh, I, I don't know the the age of Ultron was just too clean the the jumpsuit look or whatever it was just not my cup of tea again I just want that traditional Hulk where He's just, you know, ripped pants. He just has that uh, traditional look, I guess. So <laughs> there you have it. But going into articulation, he can look up really, really far. So that's nice. Doesn't look down too much, but he can do side to side a little bit too. And then I actually kind of like got caught on the neck piece because it is ru rubber there. Um, and then the, the hair piece fell off. And we're going to get into that hair piece in a little bit here. But arms can, can move whichever way you want. They don't go up a whole ton I didn't want to push it too much I got one click um, and then you can see you can just kind of move the shoulder so that the gap is minimal between the shoulder and the arm there itself then you have the normal swivel in the uh, the wrists as well 
but a um, little bit of not much not crunch in the abdomen but there is swivel side to side so you can move him side to side which is nice and then the legs go up you know a little bit here not too bad and then almost to you know a, a 90 there and then you're going to get some um, bend in the ankle itself not rocking back to forth but some bend there and you're going to be able to pose this guy fine he stands really well on his own he doesn't need a base um, not really top heavy at all just very sturdy and a heavy figure you know heavier than i actually thought he would be and he reminds me of the uh quarter scale tmnt turtles that i got just the thick heavy plastic um he can have bent in the elbows as well but it is rubber so you're gonna have some some creasing in the elbow there so i just be careful over time you know how much he sits in that pose i don't know if that's gonna be bad for the rubber or not tried to get a really good light on this figure so you could see the eyes too the eyes are something really cool about this but the head sculpt comes off you have some magnets there and then if we turn this figure around you do have um, single eye rolling system so you can move the eyes and you know that's really nice too it's it's cool because hot toys tried to find something to add to the figure you know give it some value because there's not much that comes with it however you really don't see the eyes because of the way the forehead hangs over the eyes there's always a lot of shadows, so it's really tough to see the eyes, so I don't know how much I'll really have to use that, but it's a nice feature. All right, here we have a comparison with Black Widow, and she is just barely past the waist of this guy, and they look great together, so I'm definitely keeping them together. And then we have Captain America, who goes you know, pretty much to his chest area, so again, this figure is massive. He is tall, and he is towering, and I love it, and I'm here for it. So going over... Uh, you know, things that I like about it, just the presence. I love the head sculpt. I love how this thing looks like your traditional Hulk, and it's an amazing figure. You know, I don't think the joints bother me too much at all. You know, the hair might be a little bit too tall, but it's there's nothing really bad about this at all. I don't have any complaints. I'm so happy I finally got him. It was meant to be because he finally showed up at my local comic book store. So, super happy with this. If you guys can find him for a good deal, I urge you to do it he's going to put your marvel case over the top so thank you guys for watching really do appreciate it. until next time stay safe out there and we'll see you soon